Uh, hello everyone. This is Marshall here on Minecraft Windows 10 in a world that has never been featured on this channel. Not once. And this was the unofficial Raidcraft 3.0. Now there was the original Raidcraft series, with Raidcraft 2.0, which we called 1.2. And then there was this one, the one that never got posted. There were plenty of videos on it that I never thought were good enough to post. So we kept this one secret. This one was the one that sat and we used as a personal raid craft. And it was the three original. It was the first three of us. It was Courtney, Steven, and I. In this video is to announce the retirement of Raidcraft. I, Marshall Wilbur, am officially ending Raidcraft. But before I do, I figured I should give you guys a tour of the greatest Raidcraft world of the three. So without further ado, this is the tour of Raidcraft 3.0. Now it all started about 2,000 blocks that way. Courtney, Steven, and I ran for over 2,000 blocks this, that direction. So when we ran from over 2,000 blocks from that direction across three deserts and an ocean. Um, what's this? I don't know what that is, but uh, sure, didn't know that existed. But uh, so it started from over there, it was 3,000 blocks away, and we ran all the way to here, where we found this. So let's give it a little tour. Alright, so when we first started with Raidcraft, uh, it all started with my house i was the first one actually no it all started with courtney's house courtney was the first one to complete her house it all started with courtney's house this one right here this was her first house she had a mini farm on the side she had a lakefront property where she fished off into this lake we came through these doors and fished we're gonna go through the front doors and we played we gave her a really it fit well with the uh, area we were in. So we walked through these doors, goes in line, and it led, Courtney had never actually officially finished the home, but it led to this room back here, and then over here, she had a crafting table looking at a mountain, and that led to the fishing hole, sorry, which she used for fishing and only fishing. Then was my house, my first house. Now, mind you, I've built, I've built four houses in this world. Because I can't seem to like the properties I build. So it started with this house. This house was my first house. It was built into the side of the mountain. As you can see, I carved it in. I didn't carve it in. I built up and around it and carved in. So I had a crafting table at one point, there was four furnaces and this thing here. There was a stone cutter here. I built down. Now this has since been turned into a storage shack that no one actually ever uses. But at one point, this was my house. I lived in this room. My, my bed was right here. I had chests lining these walls. Had all my supplies. And this was my house. I built this. This. I don't want to talk about that. That's a later date for... That's another story for a later date. The unknown room. See? Yep. Storage room right there. So this was the first house. I then went on to build a second house. 
And this is, I had built this before Steven had even finished his first house. So I built this house. Now, right now, uh, that's supposed to say sold, I don't know what happened. This one, I actually, I sold to Steven for 12, 8 to 12 diamonds, I don't remember how much. But I built this, and it's like a Tony Stark kind of house, it's jutted out and over the water. You, know, you got glass, and you can see all this, it's got the glass floors, and you can see the ocean below, with the turtles. Glass ceilings, so you can see the rain. And so I built this, this is my second house, as you can see. My bed, the stone cutter, furnaces, crafting tables, and two empty chests are here that I all built. I built this. And it was a great view. Uh, I thought it was really cool, but I built, actually I built five houses. What came next after this was not my best build. And I, I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of it. That's why I abandoned it pretty quickly. Um, it was this, which was temporarily my house, as you can see, it still has the bed. Uh, but there was chests lining this wall and this wall. And it was just kind of a hideaway. Uh, I sold that to Steven for, like, three pieces of gold. Uh, and then Steven finally built his, finished his first house. Which is that castle right there. So if we actually I'm wearing my armor, I can just do this. I forgot I'm wearing my netherite armor. But uh Steven had built his first house. And actually by the time I had finished that house, Courtney had finished her house before Steven. So Courtney built this second house, which has her bed, her crafting table, and her chest. Uh, and it goes up kind of like a spiral staircase, which is really cool. And it leads into another room. Which has a nice observatory kind of look that looks out on the bridge to another portal. Uh, she's got a little working station right here. Got a bunch of all of her chests. And so Courtney had built this. And after this is finished, I had finished my little hideaway shack that I showed you before. And Steven had just finished his house. Which is this one right here. So Steven decided to go for an older theme, because that's the whole theme of this was supposed to be older and hidden away, like a ruin. So he built a church slash castle slash cathedral kind of house. And so you walk in, you know, you got the lectern, like people are going to stand up here and they're going to be talking. You know, you got the benches, and then back here was Steven's bed, and his crafting table, and if you went up these stairs, this led to one of the towers that Steven had that you can get up and some parkour ways you can get up to the top of that but I'm not going to do that right now but uh, this was what Steven built and Steven actually didn't live up here very long he actually moved his stuff all down to this little basement really cool room so he's got a bunch of chests uh, with all these he's got a cartographer and a jukebox crafting tables more chests uh, we come back in this room, this was his little, this was his hideaway room, so he had a map. He had an entire map of our layout. Let me see. Yeah, right, right there is the, uh, right there is the bridge that leads to the nether portal, I believe. Uh, that, I believe, is Courtney's house. And I think back here... No, that's Steven's house, and that's Courtney's house. That's the bridge to the nether portal. So my, that's my house right there. One of my houses, and my first house is back up here somewhere. And so he went around, and he did all this, and then he made some armor. With He got magma cubes, and he got iron armor, and gold armor, diamond armor. He's got that all set up, which is really cool. And so this is what Steven built. And uh, almost as soon as Steven had done this, uh, I built my fifth and final, no, my fourth house. Not my fifth and final, my fifth and final I'll get to in a minute. But I built my fourth house, which is back here, kind of hidden away in this little cave kind of thing. And so I built this. I've got a little painting here. 
Uh, and it's set back, just kind of got the anvil, we got a bunch of chests, you know, stacks of food, random junk, wood stuff, and a bunch of other random blocks. And this is my current house, the one I live in, in this world. And so after this world, I decided that I wanted to make a beach house. So logical step, I tore down a mountain. Uh, at one point, if I go over here with this house standing, uh, there was a whole mountain here. Now you can ask Stephen or Courtney this, there was a legitimate mountain right here. Uh, went, about, went up about 100, 100, 100, 150 blocks. It, actually I want to go 150. It went up, it went up a decent amount. But there was a giant mountain here and all this sand, if you look right here, is stone. And so, uh, I tore down a mountain, as you can see, like, right here, I spent time on this. And then I built this house, you can see the uh, Tony Stark Tower house and a village out in the distance here. But I spent time and I built this house, I, I used a tutorial to build this house because I'm not good at building beach houses. Every other house that I did not use a tutorial, this is the only house I used a tutorial for. Steven also used a tutorial for his house. I don't remember who I used, whose tutorial I used to build this house, but I used a tutorial. Uh, we walk in, it's got like two beach towels, according to the dude for the tutorial. Walk in, you got a chest here, and a chest there, you got a furnace craft table, you got lights hanging out. Got the blue bed with the blue stained glass looking out. Uh, and then you got this nice little chest area uh, that's hidden under some glowstone and some sand. And so I built this beach house, which uh, is up for sale in the world for anyone who wants to buy it in this world. Because we have more than just Steve and Courtney and I. We have, uh, we have a bunch of other people on here sometimes. But I built that, and that was up for sale. Now, in the midst of doing all of this, Steven and I had been building the gateway to the nether portal, which is uh, right over there. And that that's one of the biggest projects we had had to date, was the nether portal. Because uh, we had, him and I had designed and redesigned, tore down, redesigned this area right here so many times. So we just go up this little waterfall real quick. Thanks to Courtney, by the way, for fixing this. It was all wonky, but Courtney fixed it. Made it look good. But him and I had designed and redesigned this this portal so many times. So Stephen and I built this bridge, and Stephen hollowed out this area. And this is where the portal was originally going to go. And then we decided to scrap that. And we were going to put the enchanting room here, and then we decided to scrap that as well. And so we just put this stuff here. It's got a furnace, a crafting table. Uh, what is this? Preparing this enchanting and an anvil, and this was here. As you can see, by the way, this is where the portal was going to go. But we go up here, and then we have the enchanting room, so it's got the books surrounding it with a table, and it's kind of built into the side of the mountain. And then we go further up here, we have the actual portal itself, kind of sitting on top of, like, the pedestal. And now we didn't really do much in the nether, I mean, I'll go in, I'll show you the basics of what we did in the nether. We didn't really do much. Oh, uh, where am I? Jesus Christ, I haven't been here in a while. Uh, we have being a uh, so we have, Steven put a spawn point setter right here. Uh, but we went over here, down in this area, fire put out. But we went over here. This would lead to the mines that we made in the Nether for Netherite. So it went down to Y13, and as you can see, these mines went in every direction. Uh, if we go down here a bit, mines are just cutting off halfway through. Like, there's a mine, there's a mine, and there's a mine. And these go on forever in every direction. And this was the nether. Um, so if we go back up here real quick. But this, we'd spent a lot of time on this, we'd spent a lot of time finding the fortress, and uh, digging these out, you know, or just kind of, you know, take a bath real quick. 
but uh, we've spent the time to build all this out and kind of have fun in the nether. And so, it was a really good spawn point, you know, we got a really good place for netherite and all that. And so, we did that. I wonder if I could... Ease. Ease. What in the blue hell? Sorry, my mouse wasn't working for a sec, but it's fine now. But, uh, that, that was another we'd spent so much time building that bridge up. And, uh, meanwhile, Courtney had built, uh, this. Built the farm. It's a little messed up right now. That's mine doing. Courtney had built this nice farm, uh, for wheat and, uh, all this sugar cane. Uh, we have a, uh, sheep pen. I'm wondering why there's a cow. It's because upon getting all the sheep in here, a cow snuck in without either of us realizing it, so we just kind of named it. And now he stays there forever. Uh, how many times do I have to tell you, get off of my lawn? Where are you coming from? Jesus Christ. But, uh, so right now it's all light blue wool because I needed it for a bunch of other things, and Courtney wanted it for some other things. But so we have uh, the imposter and a bunch of blue sheep. Uh, over here, uh, we have a pig named Survivor. And this, there's a story behind this, too. Uh, the story behind the pig is uh, I was doing some mining, and I fell in, uh, over there, actually, right in that village over there. I fell into a ravine. And uh, this pig, for some reason, had followed me, so he had fallen right behind me. So I got out and grabbed a lead, and I managed to get this pig out of the ravine. So what we did, we did what any logical human being would do, and we built a lake around him. This is this is a man-made lake, by the way. Courtney built this lake, because he was originally in that lake, but it looked ugly, so he moved it. But uh, we built a man-made lake around it, and we hung him. We tied a lead to him, and hung him from a fence post from the ceiling. And so now he just kind of sits here, he's chilling. Uh, over here, this is right about, as you can see here, right about here, uh, this is where Survivor was, in this pond. But uh, we eventually we moved him into a different area, and uh, we replaced it with this bridge. And uh, that, and so we uh, moved Survivor over there. And then we made the, uh, the cow farm, and then, oh my god, this, I have to move these guys again. This cows keep moving the cats. And to signify the end of Raidcraft, I put together the graveyard. On this day, 11... 2020. Well, 11, 20, 2020. I, Marshall Over, hereby announce the re retirement of Raidcraft 3.0. In front of you are our graves with an item that represents us. Please do not touch or take the items as they signify what great things we have done with this world. With that being said, this is Marshall signing off for the very last time. On Raidcraft. We walk past the signs. We have three withered roses in front of our graves with the cat next to each of one of us. Here lies Marshall Wilbur with an enchanted golden apple. Here lies Courtney Daniel with a diamond. Here lies Stephen Spears with his one of two music discs. And with that all being said, this is, once and for all, the end of Raidcraft. Whew. Goodbye everyone.